Today I would like to give you an introduction on how rainbow table works. The objective of rainbow table is given a hash code to try to get back the plain text. So a hash code is irre irreversible. So just, let's just look at uh, these two columns. A plain text, after this is a hash function, a plain text are hash, and then we get a hash code. So based on the hash code, it is a proof that we cannot reverse back to this uh, Wikipedia. This hash code is irreversible. So if you, so uh, how to given hash code, is there a way to get back the plain text? Um, the answer is it is possible. So we can do this by try and error. So how do we try an error? So we try, um, given a list of plain text, we try try and error, we hash, hash it. And then we match whether the hash code is this one. So if it is this one, and then we know the plain text is the one uh, we hashed before. But doing this, we spend too much time because there's a lot of plain text. So um, another way is we given a list of plain text, given all plain text, and then we hash, uh, do a hashing for all the plain text and get a list of hash code. And then we try to map this hash code uh, given a list of hash code. Nevertheless, we will spend too much space because um, there's too many uh, plain text, possible plain text. So rainbow table is a method that seeks a compromise between the space and the time. So rainbow table, before we go into rainbow table, we want to understand two functions. The hash function, which is the normal hash code we use, and if not, the hash function, which is the normal hash function we use, and you also make use of a reduce function. So a reduce function, the hash code map a uh, plain text to a to a hash code, and the reduce function map a hash code back to the plain text. But a uh, reduce function is not the re the inverse hashing. It is just uh, some function that map a uh, hash code to some uh, plain text. They may not, uh, you, you see this is not a, on the same one. So basically it go from plain text hashing, go to the hashes and then applying the reduce function again, go to plain text, applying hash again, go to hash, applying reduce function, go to plain text. So by doing this, it form a chain of the hash and reduce uh, it repeatedly apply. So um, in the rainbow table, you have different reduce function at different position. So we discuss later what, why we need a uh, different reduce function. But for now, uh, let us accept it. And then this is how the rainbow table work. And then by doing so, uh, by doing this, we can form several chain. And then, um, yeah. So we spend time to generating this table. And then to save the space, we only uh, at the end we only keep the first column and the last column. The first column is the plain text. The last column also the plain text. So we, so we only store these two columns. Now, given the hash code, how do we um, find the find the plain text? So let's say the hash code is this one. Remember that we already deleted this chunk of uh, elements, and then we only store the first and last column. So this element is at the center of this chain. Okay, so how do we find that it belongs to this chain? So um, first of all, given a hash code, we assume it is the, the second last one, the second last uh, plain text. No, the second last uh, hash, the, the last hash code. Sorry, this is the last hash code. We assume it is the last hash code. And then we apply the R3 to the 
to so uh, in aspect so we, have, we hope that we can get uh, some of the last column here so we apply so we apply the sorry so we apply the r tree and then we get the rainbow and then we try to match it here okay nothing match so this is not the it is this is not in any any of the chain in the last column of any of the chain so maybe it is in the second last column this is uh, so we try applying r2 h r3 and then we get we got enough linux 2 3 and then we try to uh, find it in the last column and bingo we find uh, a one here now we know that uh, the plain text that uh, in my the plain text might might be in this chain it is not guaranteed i will tell you why this is not guaranteed later so to to find the plain text first of all uh, we have linux 2 3 and then we store a tuple of them so we know the beginning is the password and then we try applying uh, h r1 h um, and then we got this uh, hash code so we know that the last the, the plain text that belong to this hash code is the culture and then bingo now uh, we have this plain text file so we have three steps we find the correct chain using the last column and then uh, we get the plain text by using the first column if either one or two fail we try again all right so basically i have go through how rainbow table works now let us understand why why uh, let's say we have a hash code here and then uh, we find a mapping linux 2 3 here the plain text might not might not uh, in this in this chain the reason is because um, when this re3xes is somewhere here and then assume that this chain does not exist in the rainbow table because um, we cannot possibly uh, generate all possible chain so assume this chain is not it's not there but assume this chain is there so after executing uh, uh, for some for, for some uh, length and then we have a match here possibly possibly due to the hash or possibly due to the reduce function and then you have a same we have the same uh, Linux 23 here. So we go back uh, to the front and try to get the this RE3 XDS is somewhere here. So we will not get it. So this is why we have to, the second step, not only uh, uh, we want to get a plain text, it also tell us whether we are in the right chain. So the first uh, after going through the first step, we can only sure that it is a possible chain, but we cannot be sure that the plain text is uh, exist in this. Alright, now um, let's think about it. So why we need a R rather than R1, R2, R3 here? Actually, the older function uh, use the same R. The oldest method than uh, the previous method than the rainbow table use the same R, but it has one problem. Um, for example, let's say uh, we get a match here. Maybe in culture. And then since we apply the same H and the same R after the matching, so for all the branch, if we match here, and then we will get the same uh, same chain so it collapsed into one chain after after collision we call this collision because it used the same h and same r all the ways so if we are using a different r so what it happens is that when it collide and then you will go away you will not form a, a 
long chain of this uh, merging. It will, it will not merge into one chain. It will, it will separate. So after collect or collect, it will separate. So the benefit of doing this is that you will not uh, have, you know, have too many false positive here. So just now what I mentioned is a false positive where you have, you find this chain, but it is not in this chain. So this is a false positive. So what we want to avoid is the false positive. So to improve the efficiency, you will not get the result wrong, but you will waste your time because um, you have to go through the second step where you can avoid uh, if we can uh, use a better method like rainbow table. So at the first chain, we'll be able to um, filter out most of the false positive. All right, thank you very much for this uh, video. I hope you enjoy it.